What's up, everybody? Coach Marty P. Hill, Sweet Science Boss Club here in Atlanta, Georgia. Hope you guys are doing well. Hey, I want to go over a couple of things today really quick. We're going to discuss about the business of the boxing gyms, the business of boxing gyms. I know a lot of times we get a lot of phone calls throughout the day of people inquiring about our boxing services, and I'm sure most gyms get these calls, and I just want to educate the general public on your different options when you're dealing with boxing gyms and the different services that a lot of us offer so you have a better idea of what to kind of ascertain as you look for boxing services. So most of boxing gyms come in about two to three different what we call boxes. You've got your tier one box, which is gonna be your strictly competitive level, what we call usually fight gyms. Most of your fight gyms cater directly only to either professional or amateur fighters or both, and they really wanna focus on those individuals who are really looking to make boxing a career or at least high level amateurs. So that's one of your tier level ones as far as those boxing gyms. Now, some of those gyms do allow the average everyday person to come in and usually hit the bags or work out or have some type of a gym membership, but their real goal is developing champions and developing world-class level amateurs and really keeping their doors open with being part of the professional boxing scene. So that was what we call a professional gym or a fight gym. A lot of those gyms don't cater to the average everyday person, but they do allow them to come in and have a gym membership and work out in the environments, but they don't offer a lot of classes and things of that nature. Most of their coaches are dedicated exclusively to developing professional athletes. So those are your fight gyms. Your tier two gym is gonna be your gym that maybe is a hybrid. They might have pros in the gym. They may have amateurs in the gym. They may offer some cardio classes. They might do what we call some white collar boxing, which is more of the executive level, giving the office men and women an opportunity to come in and learn the sport of boxing, uh, as well as they may have a kids program as well. That's kind of like this, the sweet science fitness model, our gym here. You know, we've covered all vertical areas of the sport, from pros to amateurs to promotions, promoting pro shows, amateur shows, we have cardio classes, we do kids classes, we kind of do it all. And most of your gyms in today's market or the ones who are sustaining usually kind of fall into that group. You know, we've got several gyms here in Atlanta that kind of fall into that model where the gym owners are coaches, they're, they're trainers, they're promoters. They do a lot of different things in the sport of boxing. So we've got a couple or more than a couple of those here in, in, here in Atlanta. Tier three is gonna be your cardio boxing gyms. Those are gonna be your fitness classes. Those are gonna be your gyms that specialize only in what we call cardio fitness, which means taking a boxing workout or all of the fitness and exercise components of a boxing workout, the jumping the rope, the hitting the bags. Um, you know, they're gonna go through some different boxing drills, of course, the popular focus mitts. Those gyms really focus on that. What they don't focus on, they're not doing anything competitive. They're not entertaining any amateurs. They're not entertaining any professional boxing. They don't even do any sparring. You know, a lot of those gyms you'll go into, they either will have a, a, a boxing ring in there, more so for a decoration, um, or they'll use them for their classes, but they don't allow sparring, they don't do sparring, and that's a cardio gym. They usually stand exactly on, you know, hey, this is what we do, we focus on this type of clientele, but we're not gonna sell ourselves to be somebody that's trying to develop the next Floyd Mayweather or, or, or so on and so forth. And even Mayweather has his own gyms now. So when you're looking at a boxing gym, you wanna look at those three different categories of what are you looking for? Are you looking for a professional fight gym where you're really focusing on becoming a pro? Are you looking for a hybrid gym where maybe you can come in and learn a little bit or learn and start comfortably, maybe develop into doing some amateur boxing, maybe develop into some professional boxing, or just becoming you know, comfortable in having a gym where you're at least exposed to all those different areas. And that's the level that I try to encourage most people to look at because that's the level that most people really are conditioned for. And then you have the cardio model, which is, hey, you just wanna get a good boxing workout and hit a bag and jump some rope and do some focus mitts and not concerned about sparring or getting hit and try to stay away from that as far as possible. And that's what the cardio boxing model is.